COVID is also taking its toll on the Cincinnati Fire Department, so much so that Mayor John Cranley is declaring an emergency. Luke Jones is live tonight outside the fire station downtown with more on what exactly that means. Luke? Yeah, Kyle, if firefighters could actually be forced to work overtime under this declaration. Some could be called in on days off and others have their scheduled vacation days canceled. It could all make for one very exhausted workforce. So we've made it through the Civil War, we've made it through World War I. And now the Cincinnati Fire Department is hoping to make it through the next two months. At least 26 firefighters out sick with COVID, forcing city leaders to make an unprecedented decision. Nobody can recall a time in recent history within the last almost 50 years where firefighters have been forced to stay beyond their normal hours. But that's what may start happening now after the mayor issued this emergency declaration in effect for 60 days. It allows the city to mandate overtime for Cincinnati's 700 plus firefighters. We never want to do mandatory overtime, but we also want to make sure that when people are celebrating on New Year's Eve, that God forbid something bad happens, there's someone to get to them. But the firefighters union warns forced overtime could come at a cost. Mental exhaustion is real, physical exhaustion, there's limitations that the body has. You have firefighters that potentially could work 72 or even 96 hours in a week. Union President Matt Alter says the department is already down 70 firefighters since 2019, mainly due to retirements. He'd like to see the city hire more, an option that doesn't appear to be on the table in the near future. I think they have the resources right now to manage the situation. You know, obviously if there's a huge spike, you know, um, you know, the evidence will dictate, you know, the alternatives. Now, firefighters normally work 24 hours straight, then they take 48 hour breaks. Those breaks are crucial, the firefighters union says, because just the very nature of the job requires a sharp mental focus. And it's hard to ha uh, have that when you've been working nonstop with no sleep. We're live downtown tonight. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. All right, Luke, thank you so much.